This is Rose from In Rose's Garden, and today I'm substituting for Randy Brown of Thunder Horse Descendant in making a one of the pieces from our Missing Link book. This is the book. And she has asked me why she takes a little time off to do the bow tie link, which is on page 34 and 35. So let's turn down and get to work on that. Okay, let's bring the book over here and check out what they want for the materials. According to the book, we want a six inch piece of 16 gauge pure copper wire. I am using German style in a gold. It does have a copper base, but it's not copper, but it is 16 gauge. For tools, we'll need a flat nose plier, a step plier or a steel mandrel, flush cutters, rawhide mallet, steel block, sharpie, liver of sulfur, steel wool, and a rotor tum rotary tumbler and a ruler. I feel that the liver of sulfur, steel wool, and rotary tumbler are all optional and I am not going to use them. First of all, because liver of sulfur stinks and I hate this stuff. And we'd have to do that outside because I wouldn't do that in the house. So we have our flat nose pliers, our step pliers, our flush cutter, I'm using a nylon head hammer, our steel bench block, the sharpie and the ruler are both down here. Let's see if I can get them easily. Well, here's the ruler and the sharpie. So these are all the things we're going to need to make these. So let's put the book aside and let's get working. Pull the book over here again and check out what it has to say. So you can see figure one, it says grass the middle of the 16 gauge wire with the two millimeter barrel of the step pliers and make a tight coil that is three complete turns. Note, the tail wires should point in opposite direction as shown. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, the two millimeter is the smallest size here. We'll grasp it about here. And because we're using this kind of pliers, it's easier just to go from both sides to do these because you can't just, you're gonna hit the other side no matter what you do of your pliers. So you're going to have to twist them around and move them again. Over and no, you can't go with your buddy. You have to stay here. Now, even though this looks like three here, it doesn't over here. So we have to get another turn. Come on. Oh, it didn't over. Go back in and move. Put that get that last turn. So we have one, two, and actually we may have too many. Let's see. Well, we have three on top, which is what we want. So one to here is one, to here is two, to here is three. To get that, these facing the proper direction. So they are, this is the way we want them. So there's step one done. So let's put these away so we won't need them again and go on to step two. Okay, figure two is here. Instructions say, hold the wire horizontally, grasp one end of the wire against the coil with flat nose pliers, bend the wire up against the edge of the pliers at a 60 degree angle, 
flip the link over and repeat with the opposite tail wire. So these are our flat nodes. Now we want the wires to go up like this. So what we need to, where we need to put, put it is here. And then bend this wire up this way. The same with the other side, put it here and bend this wire this way. So now we have what looks like sort of like the Mark of Zorro or a lightning strike. Harry Potter's forehead. So let's see what step three has in store for us. Step three, just this figure here, says mark one wire five eighths inch from the bend with the sharpie. Grasp the wire with the flat nose pliers, placing the outer edge of the pliers on the mark. Bend the wire up to a 60 degree angle. Repeat with the opposite tail wire, forming what looks like a pointy S. Okay, so we need to mark the 5 8 inch, which is, let's see here and here. So now that we've got that marked, let's get our flat nose pliers out and bend. Now remember when they say go to the um, grass and bend towards the in for towards the top this is the top where the coil was at so now we look like this let's see what our next step is okay Next step is mark one wire, five eighths from the last bend, bend the wire in towards the coil at the mark, cut the wire flush at the coil. With flat nose pliers, move the wire back and forth like a jump ring until the cut is snug against the coil. Repeat on the opposite side. Okay, so let's get these marks put in place. So five eighths is here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Now this might be better with a fine tip Sharpie. It would, uh, you would definitely get a smaller line if that works better for you. So now we're going to grasp and bend again. Now this is bent sort of up, so we need to get it so it'll bend behind this other wire. Otherwise it's gonna just be in the way. Oh boy, this is getting stiff. There we go actually bent a little bit too much so let's pull this back just a teeny bit okay that's better now let's do the other side oh, the other wires getting in the way we need to get that around it Okay. This last bend I find is a little hard to get um, straight as it's getting short on the wire. So now we need to clip our wires, said flush with the coil.
and then using our flat nose work this up like you would a jump ring into place against the coil and repeat on the other side Now, I don't think this has got a really sharp bend in it right here, so that does not please me. So let's bend it a little more, and then we'll get it down in place. There we go. And just work it with your fingers until you get it where you want it. Because remember, your fingers are your friends in wire working. Okay, there's that. Let's see what the next step is. Okay, the last step, step five, is work harden the link with the rawhide mallet on the bench block. I'm going to use a nylon mallet, as I mentioned, so let's go to doing that. Okay, so we're getting our steel block out and our nylon mallet, and we will, sorry, this is going to be noisy. Tap this side down some, and then the other. Now to do the other side, I've noticed that it will work really nicely if you just sort of put the spiral against the block and then hammer. And I have noticed that this one is a little out of place, so we'll fix that. And there is our bow tie. The next step is to oxidize it with the link, the link with liver of sulfur and buff the excess oxidation off with steel wool and then tumble to work harden and polish. I am not going to do that step. I um, don't think it's necessary. So here is our bow tie all finished. Hope you enjoyed that. So there we are. There's our bow tie link. And I hope you enjoyed this. Again, this is the bow tie link from the Missing Link Book 3435. This is Rose from In Rose's Garden, substituting for Randy Brown from Thunder Horse Descendant. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.